say this marsh was once inhabited, until one day everyone disappeared. Lovely, a haunted marsh full of ah! uh, oh, I thought I saw... I mean... <clears throat> it's an owl, Ogryn. Live. Have you ever thought of returning to Ozama? Not sure I can. Technically, I'm a surface dwarf now. Why, technically? You don't know for certain? It's not like they send you a letter. Congratulations, you've been ejected from the warrior caste. Do you care? Sometimes. Then I drink more and it goes away. Looks like the bones of this dragon were scattered by some animal. Or something worse. What is that? It looks like something ghostly. Almost like the Fade. The Light of Dead. Kristoff's doing, maybe. That answers that, I suppose. The Darkspawn are definitely here. So I shall. A pony. Delighted. What's this? A baby's plaything? Funny. I was sauced the other day, and I was thinking, Ogren, don't you wish you had a pony? Uh, I didn't... I didn't say that out loud, did I? You know, Bronca loved toy horses way back when. <laughs> Old girl was always a little odd. Too bad it's not a real pony, huh? <laughs> uh, just as well. The real ones poop. This is... <laughs> you make me laugh, Commander. <laughs> Thanks. Aww. Oh, good. This is the most I think Ogren has ever liked me. <laughs> Apparently he's very difficult uh, to get to like you. This looks suspiciously like a fade pedestal. What does do? Okay, so. Baroness is batshit insane and probably a blood mage. Hello. Those are desire demons. Just just hanging out. Hanging out. As you desire. Wow. 
Charlotte. That's terrifying and disgusting. Why would we suddenly be seeing new forms of Darkspawn? This isn't even a blight. It's a picturesque little place, isn't it? Aside from being ruined and haunted. your Grey Warden. The mother told it to me that if he was lured to this place and slain, that in time you would come. And the mother, she was right. The mother is always right. The mother, she is no prophet, but she is most clever. Oh, yes, that she is. I, here before you, is the first, and I am bringing to you a message. The mother, she is not permitting you to further his plan, whether this you know or not. So she is sending you a gift. as well. It cannot be this. The mother, she has deceived me. I am betrayed. I can never trust my mother either. Now I am being trapped in the fade with you. Ah, oh, I am the fool. I am the first. I am not being expendable. Both the Grey Warden and the Mother shall be learning this. I will be leaving you to the children. I will be finding my own path back into the world. Back to the Mother. The mother? Another Darkspawn? <laughs> More talking Darkspawn. And now some mother to go along with it? Cute. Oh man, I just love being in the Fade. Look at this shit. Wait, what did that snarly bastard say? The Fade? We're in the Fade? That's where humans dream, isn't it? Dwarves shouldn't be here. We don't dream. We sleep like a stone. Explaining why bad things happen doesn't help. Bad things happen, you want them to stop. And what happens to my body while I'm here? Someone could outrage my modesty. What little's left of it. Sod. And fun times were had all around. I do so enjoy being in the Fade.
Allow me to say, Sir Dwarf, that you are a frightening force on the battlefield. Is this a joke? I only let loose that time because I was surprised. No, it... it was a compliment. I don't get many of those. I don't see why. Your skills are... Okay, yes. I think I do see why. No, my lady, I do not forget. I merely... But I would never contradict your ladyship. No. I don't. No, please, my lady. Have mercy. No! No! Ah, no! I am most sorry, mistress. You're not a spirit like everyone else. How did you get here? This is where my grandfather's ashes are buried. I come to visit him often. He was the last person to stay in Black Marsh. Once he passed, there was nobody left in the village who remembered. Remembered what happened to the village, of course. The marsh was full of people once. Then that evil woman came and changed everything. She... Oh no! They've come back again! Quick, come hide in the crypt! And so you came fell into my little trap. Such wonderful creatures, you mortals. So full of yearnings. So full of hunger. There was a girl. You should have seen what she gave to slake her thirst. As now you shall slake mine. stranger. After being trapped for so long by my own foolish desires, now I can at last go. Thank you. Halt! Who enters the Black Marsh? This is... I don't know where this is. We've been here so long at her mercy. I almost forget what it was like before. There is a spirit that's come to free us. Perhaps you could help him. If only that were possible. Hear me, people. She is evil incarnate. The countless evils I've seen her perpetrate in there. I'm ashamed to even recount them aloud. She orders our children stolen in the night so she can... No! Unhand me, you thugs! Let me go! Don't let them take me! No! I won't turn around, mistress. I promise. I'd better report this to the guards. The mansion will not protect you, fiend! Come out and face your crime! We aren't afraid of you any longer! The witch hides! Break down the door! Be cautious, my friends. The Baroness has power within her lair, and she well knows it. We rush in at our peril. 
And who comes now? More minions of the Baroness? Or yet more helpless souls she has tormented? I cannot say what a Grey Warden is, but clearly you are a stranger. Perhaps it is a sign. I am Justice. I have watched this place and seethed at the wrongs visited on these poor folk. And now I seek to aid them. Once we lived in the real world and the Baroness ruled over us. She took our children and used their blood to work dark and evil magic. And when we burned down her mansion, she cast one final spell that brought our spirits here. We've been trapped ever since, still under her rule. This spirit knows the Fade. If we help him, he might help us. I think that since the Baroness trapped these people here, that she's our best chance of getting out. Tell me, stranger, will you help us in this righteous task? Being a Grey Warden appears to make you an able sort, and thus, your aid would be most welcome. From the world of mortals, as are all these people. We lived in a village in the Black Marsh, and the Baroness ruled over us. That was so long ago, it seems like a dream we once had. We finally rose up against her evil, and this is what she did to us. I can't even imagine what happened to our families. Has it been so long? How many years have we been held here? Take heart, good woman. Justice will see you avenged and freed. Will you help us, stranger? If this wrong is to be undone, we will need your aid. These good people have been held in the thrall of this sorceress for too long. I seek to free them. It's been a nightmare that seemed to go on forever. Until Justice arrived, we didn't even know this wasn't real. I can no longer stand by and watch. The sorceress has fled into her lair, but a reckoning is called for. We must act, stranger. Then we have the numbers to challenge the Baroness directly. Ooh, a direct challenge. I like the sound of that. Less talk, more killing. They just said she was an evil, powerful witch. Do, do we really want to antagonize her? Hmm. Well, there's a thought. All right, you convince me. My intention is to storm the gate. Are you ready? As you wish. Do not tarry, for justice awaits. Of course she will. What are you saying? That she... Oh, no. I... I just refuse to believe that. No, not even she would ever... She couldn't have. Are you ready to storm the gate, stranger? Good people, we take the battle directly to the witch. For too long have her crimes gone unpunished. Now is the time to reclaim your freedom! My, my. All that shouting outside, and now you finally decided to barge in, without even a proper invitation. Foul sorceress. You will release these poor folk and submit yourself to justice. Justice? Is that what you're calling it? What of their punishment? Burning my home to the ground and me within it? Because you were stealing our children, using their blood to feed your vanity. As was my due. You lived on my land, I, your rightful ruler. Your blood was mine, just as your lives are now. What's this? The pathetic fools have managed to recruit yet more sympathizers? We are no longer alone, Baroness. Your reign ends here. As it happens, I am no longer alone either. My path back across the Vale lies in victory over you and your new allies. Then the Mother will pay for her treachery.
Instead, I should have chosen you, mortal? We must be ending this. No! The Grey Warden, it is more dangerous than you know. Oh, as you wish, creature. Slay them, and you shall have the reward you requested. Enough! The battle is joined! No! You fool! Why haven't you defeated them? They are too much. It must be sending me back through the veil. Now, before it is too late. Oh, I will sunder the veil all right. I'll send them all back. But you? Your life is going to provide the power. No. No. What is happening? No. This is the world of mortals. Beyond the veil. And this... This is... A mortal body of flesh. I am trapped within. The witch sundered the veil in her haste. All of us were drawn through. She has returned to this realm as well. Can you not feel it? The Baroness is nearby. You misunderstand. The Baroness, she is not immortal as you are, or as were the villagers she kept trapped. There was such a mortal once, but now... That is a demon of pride. She assumed that role long ago to feed from the mortal she trapped. But here, in your world, here she will be quite something else. I do not know why I am in this body. It was not by choice, I assure you. The veil is sundered, and the tears must be closed lest they continue to spill demons out into this world. I can alter your weapons for a time, allowing them to drive back the Fade's magic. But if we are to deal with the Baroness, we must move swiftly. So this is the world of mortals. How very dull it seems. So immutable and unchanging. Yet, I am here. I have crossed the veil. The spirits will watch in envy as the mortals of this realm bow down before me. That will not happen, demon. Ah, it seems I was not the only one to be drawn here. How very tiresome. Shall I use smaller words? I had no idea I could enter the mortal world this way. Had I known... Oh, but I am here now, yes? Soon I will be queen as this world deserves. And you? You will be the first of my subjects. Oh, 
shall fall by my will. Why do they bother? It should be you that falls. And so it is done. For what it is worth, thank you. I have fulfilled my vow. May the victims of that woman's madness rest in peace, wherever they have gone to now. It seems I cannot return to the Fade. I am trapped here, in the body of this Grey Warden. There are memories within this poor man's mind. They are they're difficult to see. But he was a Grey Warden? He was slain by the Darkspawn, the one called the First? And that was your pursuit when you were tricked into the Fade. Yes, I understand now. It seems I am at a loss. I know nothing of this world and have only a few memories of this Grey Warden to draw from. I do not wish to die. What shall I do, mortal? You seem to be a creature of good character, and you are of this world. Can you advise me? You mean continue this mortal's mission as a Grey Warden? It was a Darkspawn who murdered this mortal most ignobly, and the ones that commanded it yet live. To avenge his death. Yes, that would be a purpose. Very well. I will join you, Grey Warden, if you will allow it. That is not my name. I have no name. Only a virtue to which I aspire. If I am to need a name, then use that. I am Justice, and for now I am pleased to travel at your side, Grey Warden. You know, Nathaniel, you're just like me. Am I now? Everyone hates your family for something terrible they did, even though you weren't involved. I hope you have a point, Anders. It's like you're a mage. If there were more hows, they'd lock all of you up in a tower to protect everyone else. A thrilling analogy. I hope. Tell the mother. The first, it is dead. The Grey Wardens are gone from the marsh. Wicked, wicked Wardens. They killed the first. Killed him. Cut out the mother's heart. <laughs> but was it not the mother who wished him dead? Again, to hear the sweet call. We are 
all lost. But the day will come when the silence ends. <laughs> Thank the Maker you arrived. Things are getting out of hand. My son is starving. Open the granaries! Bloody feed your people! I fear this must be the work of the conspiracy against you and the Wardens. If the common folk just rose up on their own, I'll eat my boot. Maybe you can say a few words. Calm them down. Make them see reason. Barrel, you don't coddle a revolt. You put it down. Just give me the order. We will not be... Let the commander speak. But we must eat. We... Quiet! Don't believe the commander's empty words. If we get to the granaries, we can feed our families. I thought you would get along. Said, no. Kinda missing my point, aren't you? I am not a peasant uprisings. They never end well. <sighs> there had to be another way. You know as well as I that if you give in to the mob, you're ruled by the mob. <sighs> you're right, Garavel. Before this mess began, some nobles were awaiting an audience with you. I'll be in the keep. Fine, fine. Your loss. And Esmeral, the commander. What was this urgent matter? I am here about the good Arl. The good Arl you killed. You're still loyal to Arl, how? Rendon was good to us. Good to me. And now his death will finally be avenged. <laughs> First a riot, now this. Blast it. Beryl's been hit. It looks glancing. He'll live. I'll have the herbalist attend to him immediately. Andraste's blood, that's... That's Ban Esmeral. She was a fool to attack you. I'll have trusted men clean this up. We can keep this quiet for a while. There's enough cause for panic already, Commander. Are you saying that you could become a demon, Justice? I said no such thing. You said that demons were spirits perverted by their desires. I have no such desires. You must have some desires. I have none. Desist your questions. Christoph. Oh, thank the Maker. I fear you are mistaken, mortal. Christoph? Why are you... What has happened? I am his wife. Your husband is gone, and I inhabit this body now. His death will be avenged, I assure you. Avenged? You've desecrated his body, how dare you? It was not intentional. There was... Get away from me! This body has memories of this woman. Aura is her name. I did not know she would come. I must rectify this somehow. Intentionally or not, I have done this woman a great disservice. My memories suggest her home is in Amaranthine. It will prey on me if we do not seek her out. There must be something that could be done to assuage her pain. Something.
the Darkspawn call our attention, but should we get the chance to seek her out, I would be grateful. Yes, Commander? Where did you find this? I could make a blade, a blade unparalleled. Oh my, oh my. Where's that list? Quick, gather these things. Hurry, there's history to make here. What happens when this body of yours expires? How long does such a process take? I don't know. Can you still walk around once you're simply bones? So I'm led to believe, yes. Yes, Commander? Yes, yes, we can begin. So momentous. Where to begin? What type of blade would you like? The blade, it's balance. Your thoughts? Certainly, Commander. And for the forging itself, I have Fomari enchanted materials aplenty, and the bone is very receptive. Now, let me commence. Look at it. It's my finest work. Use it well. Due to a bug, Vigilance has the same uh, graphic properties, the same look as Starfang, which I was not able to get in Dragon Age Origins because no matter how many times I went back and forth, I was not able to get the extremely rare random encounter in which you find the star metal so that Starfang can be forged. Um, so it really bothers me that my swords don't match. So I used a save game editor and duplicated Vigilance. So here it is, two Vigilances that both look like Starfangs due to a bug. Uh, and oddly enough, can be enchanted using only one set of runes. If I use one rune, it enchants both weapons, which is cool. So these are my legendary blades, Vigilance and Starfang. I'm going to pretend that this is Vigilance and Starfang and that they were forged for me separately and one is made of star metal and the other is made of dragon bone and yes, that's that's what I am pretend. That's my headcanon for what's going on here. Um, I should point out that at the very beginning of Dragon Age Awakenings, uh, you receive a letter from your romance in, if, in the last game in Origins, if you were in a romance at the end of the game, which I was. Um, so I completely failed to bring that up on the screen and show you guys for the past however long. So here it is, Zevran's letter that he sends to you at the beginning of this game, explaining where he is and why he is not with you. So basically, Zevran is in Antiva, taking care of the crows who are still out for his head, um, so that he doesn't have to run anymore. And in the meantime, I'm doing my duty, and we are separated from each other, and it's very sad. Yeah. Yes. 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 Although I should say that uh, I gave Vigilance a shield with the with the heraldry of the Antivan crows on it as an homage to Zevran and our relationship. 
so he might not know what that is. And it matches his armor so well, but I know what it is. This thing you did. The murders of those men in the forest. What of it? What you did was wrong. You must make amends. And to whom should I make these amends? Those humans are dead, if you recall. You must make amends to humans. It was your condemnation of their race that led to your folly. I wouldn't expect that to occur any time soon. Frankly, I think it's really interesting in Dragon Age uh, Awakenings, Dragon Age Origins Awakenings, that none of your party members like each other. Like it all. I mean, they're all constantly questioning each other. It's pretty interesting. Andera and Atishan travelers, do not be startled. We only wish to be about our way. Marin? Falana! Well, well, this is certainly a surprise. You traveling with... Humans, yes. Believe me, the irony does not escape me, clanmate. We are no longer your clan, Valana. Valana was exiled. She does not have a clan. We... Stop. I do not wish to speak of this. Marin, the others who left with me, they are dead. And Serani is gone. Taken by the Darkspawn. Thank you, whoever you are. You have my gratitude. Ilshay warned her not to go with you, Valana. You see what you brought on her? Then tell Ilshay that she was right. Oh, I can see her smug. Ilshay has passed on. You know nothing but hatred. The clan is better off without your poison. You care enough to defend her? Perhaps things are different. Ah, we've lingered too long. Andru will guide your path, Falana. Do not make a fuss over me. Let us be on our way. This thing you spoke of. Switching bodies. Not a favorite topic of yours, I take it. Would such a thing be permitted? Would it not be considered abominable? If they're dead, it's not as if they need the body, Justice. But I can still feel the man who once lived. I know his life, his... It is not just a body. That's... Good, isn't it? I'd rather you felt that way. Perhaps you are right. Are you at all curious about my exile? You make me out to be some kind of shrill harpy. You! Fine. I suppose your mockery is justified. The humans near where you met me were trying to drive my clan away. For a while, we resisted. And they tried to burn us out. They would have destroyed the entire forest just to keep us from their farms. The others were afraid. Keeper Ilshay said that if I wanted to fight the Shemlin, I would fight them alone. The Shems give us land one day, and take it back the next. By their rules, we would wander forever. They had run us ragged. It was time to stand and fight. Thus I called Ilshay a coward, and I turned away from the clan. Sarani only followed me in the hopes of changing my mind. A few others wanted what I wanted, and left with us. They are dead now. Do you really believe that? Sometimes I think you have more hope than I. Come, there is no point in dwelling on the past when there is work to be done. This is a chest of belongings once owned by the man whose body I now inhabit. His essence lingers upon these objects like dust. I can even hear it whispering his name into the ether, in the Fade. Nothing outlives the spirit that created it. Here, everything does. This world has fingerprints on top of fingerprints. Witness to beings long dead. How does one describe a sensation? I have no words for it. The man who owned these things was a great warden like yourself, yes? We intend to avenge him? Good. These Darkspawn are a cancer within the heart of this world. <sighs> but there is nothing that can be done just yet, is there? A world so full of beauty that beauty goes overlooked. I must see it with different eyes. <laughs> 